烏克蘭總統澤連斯基上個星期到訪美國同埋加拿大，爭取兩國繼續支援烏克蘭去對抗俄羅斯。不過，隨住俄烏戰爭嘅持續，西方國家對於烏克蘭嘅支持，或者因為各自嘅內政問題而開始出現咗變化。咁其中，波蘭已經唔再繼續軍援烏克蘭，兩國亦都因為糧食出口嘅問題陷入咗外交嘅爭端。目前，西方世界係咪已經對於共同反戰失去咗焦點呢？係今日嘅政論中話。我哋揾嚟學者同大家分析一下形勢。日前國會下議院因為下議院議長羅塔嘅失誤，導致整個議會向前納税軍人致敬嘅政治風波。有學者就指，烏克蘭早已禁止呢一種敵人嘅敵人就係朋友嘅做法。咁而波蘭同埋烏克蘭喺過去嘅嚴規早已經化解，即使喺穀物出口問題，亦都已經有所改善，唔影響歐洲鄰邦抗俄。And at the end, Poland's big issue is not so much with Ukraine, but with the European Union, because the European Union is the one who said we're going to let Ukraine import its grain without any checks, which would be extremely damaging to the Polish economy. Gessner 又指出，從未見過歐盟同埋北約如此一致對外。歐盟喺經濟上支援烏克蘭重建社會，屬於細水長流嘅工程。咁樣當然唔及戰爭畫面嚟得震撼。The current offensive is not very cinematographic. There isn't, there aren't the big battles, there aren't the big troop movements. It's a war of attrition, which Ukraine appears to be winning quite significantly. However,、um, this is something that everybody will take stock at the end of this summer and fall offensive. 至於美國同埋加拿大支持烏克蘭對抗俄羅斯，就各有政治考量。今次泽连斯基第二度访美，获提供三亿二千五百万美元军事保安嘅援助，而加拿大佢就获得三年共六亿五千万加元嘅军事物资。The Western countries, pragmatically or cynically speaking, they probably won't let off because this is also good for domestic industry. I mean, all of the shells they're producing, they will be paid. Those are domestic jobs. So there is also not even an economic incentive to stop the production there. 虽然美国国民支持乌克兰作战嘅支持度减退，共和党人只有四到五成，出现支持抗战疲劳嘅心态。而加拿大政府就会被人民质疑，点解唔去解决国内房屋同埋通胀嘅问题？不过喺面对二零二四年加美两国嘅选举年，政治领袖就另有考量。If there's a switch to a conservative government, if anything, the support for Ukraine is to be expected to be stronger. In the United States, it's an entirely different story because support for Ukraine has become such a partisan issue. 持續嘅俄烏戰爭係咪令到西方國家出現咗厭戰嘅心態？咁正係考驗盟國係咪堅持民主體制，反對軍事侵略㗎。我哋今日嘅政論中環就講到呢度。